Okay, I'm uh, Mark from My Way, and I've invented this uh, aqua comb for cleaning horses. And this is Judy from Feeds and Needs that uh, has her horse that she's going to clean for you and show you the proper method to do it. And uh, for Judy, take it away. Okay, it's very easy. Let me show you first how you wet the horse, which is your first step in bathing, obviously. You just take your aqua comb, put it on the end of a recreational hose for a better flexibility in the hose. Turn your water on at the pressure point knob on the aqua comb. And we'll go ahead and wet the horse and go against the grain of the coat for maximum penetration of the water to the skin. And what you'll notice is a very nice soft flow of water from the aqua comb evenly spread with pressure throughout the distribution. See a lot of the dirt loosening up just at the wedding cycle on this horse. And the combs here on this product, turn it off for a minute. The comb on the front gently lifts the, the coat so that the water penetration to the skin is much easier and thorough. She's quite dirty. Okay, now Judy's wetted the horse on both sides, and now she's just wetting the face a bit, and then she'll be wetting the tail and mane before she adds soap. So the first part here is just trying to get all of the fur wet and lift a lot of the uh, coarse dirt off of the horse. And you can vary the, the intensity of the water with the valve so that when you're doing the face you can make it very very gentle for them so it doesn't upset them too much. And that's what she's done is turned down the volume on the water. This particular horse does not like her face done anyway. So she may not There you go. And I think I'm going to put a little more pressure to see if I can just make best use of the tool since I'm up there. Okay. And now I want to 
want to make sure that I show you how to get into the main. So put the comb right into the base of the horse's mane. And really get the water down there where the dirt gets. Well, you said this also has a tendency to help lift some of the scabbing that can happen? Right. This particular horse gets flaky at the next base. <clears throat> often. Seasonally. And we have found that it, using the aquacomb has helped reduce the repetitiveness of that flakiness appearing. It also helps to remove the flakiness without tearing and pulling at her mane. And I'm going to come in here also and we do the same type of process for the tail. You can just reach in and you can get the comb into the tail so that the water goes all the way through. So you're wetting the tail pretty much instantly then and that... Right. You're not having to fight, excuse me, to get through the, the hair. The water shoots in with the aqua comb. So the combs open up a little trail to the center, down to the... Right. Cool. Sorry about that part. <laughs> Good for the butt. <laughs> okay, now what we'll do is we'll apply the soap. Move her over a little bit so she's back where she's supposed to be. <laughs> Thank you, Sadie. And one thing that we've also found with the aqua comb is the amount of soap required to get your cleaning job done is greatly reduced. The little bit of soap that I just put on the, the scrubber will go through the entire side of the horse pretty much because the water has already been distributed into the hair. The less soap you can use to get the job done, the better that is because you won't have as much soap residue to take off. The aqua comb has actually removed a lot of dirt already. Kind of what we're doing is freshening the coat and massage, doing a massage cleaning. I'll get a little bit more soap just to make it down the legs. And now that we have uh, wetted both sides of the horse and applied soap to the entire body area and the mane and the tail, we'll go ahead and show you how uh, in the rinsing cycle of your wash, the aqua comb does its work. Here comes the dirt. That's why is my water hose? The hose There we go.
You may have noticed that we're going against the grain of the coat every time we wet and rinse, which allows the aqua comb to really get the deep down dirt brought up from the skin, which is very good not only for bathing, but for just general cleaning and uh, at times you can also use the aqua comb for wound irrigation when you really want to get a wound cleaned out but you don't want to agitate it by scrubbing. letting the aquacone separate the individual hairs of the mane, get the water right down to the neckline. And get the soap out thoroughly. rinse, you'll want to make sure your water power is turned up. You go with the grain of the hair coat so that your horse's coat will lie down nice and pretty. And you'll notice you won't have a lot of soap residue being rinsed because the aqua comb is already removed. The soap residue or the soap matter from the coat from the first rinse. Amazing how white she comes out, you know, with just one washing. You haven't had to do multiple washings, to be honest. horse off, you'll find there's a lot less water than you would normally see coming off because it continues to run off because it's clean and it goes down to the ground with less effort. It's gotten what more of the oil and dirt off at the skin level, you believe? Right. Yeah. And so it is. We do have a winter coat here that we're cleaning. Yeah, she's starting to brighten up quite a bit now too. Right. 